Welcome back to Copperhead Customs. Welcome back to a new episode on our 28 Oakland. Yeah, you're getting sick of it already? Well, there's going to be about another 100 of them, I'm telling you. So, today, what are we going to do? We are going to keep making body panels. Yay! Anyway, let's get to it, a reaper. So, if you've seen the last episode, we quickly knocked this one here up. Okay, this was our first ever attempt at doing a panel. And I think it's okay. It's not perfect. I might give it a bit more dolly work. But we've got our little bead roll lip up the top there. Now, that probably should have been a bit bigger, but I kind of made a little error. Because I also wanted it to wrap around like that, see? So, uh, then we folded it around the back there, and we've got to do a little tiny weld here and stuff. But overall, we've got a body line at the bottom. I think it's okay. Uh, not bad, eh? Considering, when you consider that we've got no folder, no shrinker stretcher, all we bought was a $200 bead roller off of uh off off uh off cheap bay <laughs> cheap bay because that's where everything on is cheap and nasty anyway so yeah we just bought a cheap cheap little bead roller to get our lines in and i think it's okay so now the tricky part is <laughs> the tricky part we've got to do it all again for the other side so we've got to make another one and we're also remembering remember all this is this part here is curved that part down there is straight we've got a big curve going this way as well so we've done all of this we've got the panel that sits in it's just sitting in pretty good with none of those tools so we've got to replicate another one for the other side and then we will look at making this little center section once those panels are made well before we even make the center section we may have to do a little bit of fabricating down the bottom but first things first is Let's try to make another one of these. Yeah? I think that's what we'll do. So then we'll put some we'll do some more uh RHS S S H whatever you want to freaking call it. Some more metal in there, in the base there. We'll do a couple of diagonals. Uh we'll see how we how that looks. We may do a vertical or that, but I think we'll just do two two diagonals and, and that piece in the bottom. We'll do that to reinforce that area. We'll do that back piece. We've also, we've brought the trailer out. We've dug the trailer out and that there is our Jag rear end, which you might have seen in the last episode. So we're going to look, whether we do that today or not, we don't know, but we are going to look, we're gonna bring that over, slide it under here and have a little look-ski of how it's all gonna look because there's a fair bit that goes in to putting that rear in. We don't only have to look at the width and the pinion angle that way. We've also got to think about the height. So there's no point putting that sucker in and then having to put chop springs or doing stupid stuff. We want that diff up in there high enough. So that's something else we've got to look at with whether we use the cradle that's on that jag rear end. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the last episode or go research a Jag rear end. They have these big cradles on them that hold it all together. Now, I'd like to just try to... I'm personally, I'm just going to throw that in if we can. So we've got to look at our to-do-it-all, okay? So anyway, 
Enough rabbiting. Let's get some freaking work done for once. Arepa. <laughs> Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe? We'll have a quick look at what I have done. Uh, we've run this as immediately. See, it's a little bit wonky, but now I can fritz around and try to get that better. Honestly, I'm, I'm not overly fast. It's a freaking door jam. Um, and it's a bit hard with the machine flapping around. So I need to mount that roller on a proper pedestal. I think I might do something like this and concrete it in the ground and set it up here through the middle here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to set that up through here and we'll set up the shears and we'll turn through the guts here into like a little bit of a area I think. I might even bring a table out. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. We'll turn this from center section. Can't go too far because we still want to be able to get in into a little bit of a little work area. But anyway, dribbling on beside the point. What I was showing you was we've put we folded this around. This time what I did is I put the bead in first and then I folded it. You see that's Doubled back on itself. Then we've gone and put it back onto the car, clamped it up, got our door gap nice, and then marked. So the door's a little bit kicked. The door actually lands there. So I'm gonna I'll set this is the bottom of my RHS that's in there or SHS. So I'm going to set that as my little bead. So I'm just gonna put a little bead in there, flare that out for our bottom to match our door, and we'll make another panel up. And then this is basically where our fold will be, we'll probably do that on the car, and this is basically the the outs, the low edge of our bead. These little marks here, they would be the top edge. So we basically we're on a roll from there to there, kinda. So I could possibly scary. I could possibly. I don't know if that would work by measuring. You could probably do that. You know, honestly, I'm going to give you something, an idea. I reckon if you measured from the top of this and measured to the bottom of that, bottom of that to that little top edge, and you measured that distance up and down there, you could just about set that machine to that distance and get that curve, I reckon. I honestly reckon you could. We'll play with that one day. But anyway, go if you've got one, go try that out. Drop a comment down, tell me if I'm right or not. I reckon I Anyway. Let's roll this up and get this thing done, Reaper. All right, what we've got here, uh, if we see this, get yeah, square, something like that, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, I think you know what you're doing by now. See how these are pretty square? Probably not focusing real good. But these are square, so the fold will be... Ch -ch -ch. Okay, so if we go over to our panel. On this fold, we did pause. I've got to turn the music off. All right, hopefully that's okay. So, now, what I was saying was, our fold here is done with the square. It's done with no space. Like, does that make sense? So that's like a square, ch -ch -ch, right? Now, what we want is, if we come into the car and have a look, this isn't square, is it? This is slightly rounded, so we need to, if we had that, just set up as it is it would come out square and wouldn't quite look right because that's more like a rounded edge so what i've worked out which is probably common sense whatever anyway i'm just letting you know is we undo this bottom die and i'm running three that's what i did on the other panel i put three washers in back that off 
Oh, we need to do the other screw too. All right, now, boom. So we have that packer which lines it all up, yeah? I then put three of these washers on. I've got packs of them. They came with it, all different shims. So this is four. And we put that back on. Now, as you can see in here, we have a gap, yes? So now what will happen is our our bead that we roll in won't be square now because it will be pressed there and there. So it will be more angled. So it will look more rounded, if that makes sense. So the more washes you put in, the more you'll change this angle from 90 degrees. You'll go more and more and more like this, making it look more and more curved in, in a type of, like more of a gradual bead. So I just... Thought I'd fill you in on that bit of wonderfulness. So you understand what I was actually doing there. And how we get that slightly different bend. So, anyway, plus we've got all the other dies here. All these different dies that come with this thing as well. But yeah, just showing you that. Anyway, get back to it, Reaper. <laughs>
could be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel, I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level, they think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential, the grind is all in your mental And I don't think you understand what I'll go through Just to be in control of my life soon All the negativity, man, I'm immune I don't really need a mask with all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages Five, ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit, I'm tenacious And if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way then Got one life, I won't regret it I will fight until I get it I'll look back one day from heaven And say, damn, I learned some lessons And say, damn, I had no questions I had fun in every second And the journey was a blessing, yeah They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous Every day, late at night, not okay, all I want 
and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day Late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah All I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe, in the better days Living life, every day Late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better day. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started, a life is a dream or a nightmare scarring, hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in, get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling, cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crashing in my car, wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir, yeah. I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling it Alrighty then, well, what do we think? What do we think? There it is The tub Is pretty much done Oh, I'm just sitting down Freaking buggered Been hammering all day So, uh, we'll do a bit more dolly work We've still got to weld That up and uh, we'll just do a bit more dollying here and there to get it all perfect. And then I think once we're happy, once we're happy, I think I might just put a couple of stitches on the inside. Uh, like in that corner maybe, down in that corner there, to hold that in and that way. And that would nearly do it, just maybe a little stitch on each side down there would probably nearly be sufficient, I think. We may throw a couple of other little stitches around. We could bolt it, I suppose. Or we'll pop rivet it, or... Yeah, I don't really know about that. We'll have to have a think about that. But that has to come off. All right, so that's as much as we're gonna do now. Now, hopefully we can pull that off. <laughs> hopefully we can get it off. Because we've got to weld all our framework out yet. So we're sort of done there, I think, we're, other than a little bit more dolly work. I just threw some black paint on there to have a little look, and you know what I'm thinking, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, we brought our brought the rear end in. I've got a plan. You got a plan, you say? I've got a plan is we're going to cut a bit of this off. And we'll box in the chassis at the back here. We're going to cut a bit of that in and notch it up in, I think, and we'll leave the cradle on. Our, our fuel tank, which is over there, that's going to go in the back here, okay, from underneath. All right, so you're never going to see this. You don't even want to see it because the fuel tank's going to be hanging down there. So, yeah, I don't care about the cradle. The cradle's staying in. Uh, so we're just going to notch that out there so that that can actually come up in, and we'll try to get the top that top piece there, we'll try to get that to basically the top of the chassis or very close off is my plan I think at this stage then we'll look at uh, these trailing arms what to do so yeah we've got to do that soon, we'll have to take off this but before we do that we need to put a brace in the back 
So I have to go looking. I don't know if I've got a bolt in one or if we weld one in. So we'll weld one in there. We'll actually box in this just this little section. We'll probably go from here to, to here. We'll probably just box that. And then I'll just do a vertical later. So we'll just box that section so that when we do do this, we can actually weld it in. So we'll box that, weld it up. We'll then start notching this. Notching, notching, notching. Getting it where we want it. Up. We've got to get it square this way. We've got to get it centered this way. And then we've got to get our our, our uh, pinion angle correct. And then we also got to get our height up and down correct. So it's a little bit of a freak around. But yeah, so I think the plan is we box that in. We make sure we've got a brace in the back. We can then cut that diagonal out. Notch it in, notch it, play with it, blah, 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 blah. Bang. Tack it, weld it out. And basically, yeah, if we cut all this correctly, we should be able to uh, do all that. And then I think what we will do is once I've cut all this out, I'll actually probably plate, I'll plate the actual cradle at the end, then we'll stick it in, and then we'll weld it. That's the plan on the rear end, I think. Once the rear end's in, our skid can get cut out, drop it on the ground, and have a little look-ski. And on the inside of this, if I had the energy, I'd stand up and show you, but basically, oh, let's, come on, let's have a look. Uh, if we do a couple of, it's pretty hard to get yours in there, if we do a couple of uh, bits of um, SHS in there, approximately, like if we just put a couple of pieces around for the for the tunnel, yeah, for the, then basically we can, at that stage, once we've got them in position and I work out where my tunnel's got to be, this, this whole cab can be lifted off. I think. So that's coming up soon. We will get that off. But, you know, we've still got a lot to do. We've still got to weld everything out and play around. But we've got a start. So let's stand back because I haven't actually looked at it yet. Whew. Big day of hammering, I'll tell you. Right, mate, we'll walk this way. We'll turn the fan off because it's probably... Hopefully it doesn't wind noise this. Right, yeah, so I'll stick you up to there. Yeah. What do we think? I don't know, I think we're all, I should, should I go and grab the tray and sit the tray on to show you? I think you get the gist. I think we get the gist. That's not a bad day's work anyway, I think we're looking all right. Like I said, it is not perfect. If you want perfection, it ain't going to happen, all right? But it is not bad considering what we did it with. Um not bad it's not bad it's better than what we had so anyway that's going to be it for this episode next episode like i said we'll look at who knows we might do we might look at the diff we might start welding out i don't know more where to work anyway <sighs> do all the good things guys let's try to grow this channel eh? i think i'm doing some pretty cool stuff so uh, share it with your mates, like, comment, do all that stuff. Subscribe to it if you haven't subscribed. Uh, I think we're doing cool stuff here. So, you know, you got any feedback on what you want to see, what you what you think I should do differently in the way I'm doing the videos or in what I'm doing here, drop your comments. But basically, there we go. So with that all being said, I'll say thanks for watching. And you know what happens now? Oh yeah. Reep up ba ba dee ba 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 dee ba dee ba dee ba ba. Thanks for watching. See you next time I'm looking at you. A reaper.